Hello people and welcome. My name is Oka, but I'm also known as and I'm also known as Kiss. In this video, we are looking at why women marry three, four husbands. It's okay to marry two, but marrying three, four, five husbands, it's no longer the idea, you know. It's no longer the idea. It's okay to marry two, but three, four, five. <laughs> it's no longer the idea, you see. But um, nobody controls, nobody has the power, or nobody is entitled to control how other people live their, uh, live their lives. But it's also, it's also important that we talk about some of these things. Because if you marry, like you marry three, four, five husbands, people be, tend to feel that you are irresponsible, even though you are responsible. And sometimes some of these things are things that we cannot control. You see, we, may, we, can't, we, can't, we can't control because you won't even know. Sometimes you make all these little, little mistakes that will make you may just be a very good person. A woman who is not wayward, a woman who is very, who is very responsible, but because you just happen to be attracting the wrong people, and you are bringing, you are involving yourself with these wrong people because you don't focus, you don't take time to study these things, this behavior. You don't take time to know who they are. And if you know some of these things I'm about to share with you, I'm sure you'll not be making repeating the same mistake. Because if you don't go, if you don't have the patience to go through this. You will keep repeating the same mistakes, attracting the same person with a different face, and before you realize it, you have married four, five husbands. So, reasons why women marry three, four, five husbands. Number one, women focus on appearance. You see, you focus on the appearance of the man, the image, the char the the charisma, the 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 looks. How does he look? Is he tall? Is he handsome? Is he somebody that when people see me with them will respect me? These are the things that people, women usually focus on. And relationship is not about, it's not only about appearance, you see. It's not only about appearance, it's the be actually the behavior of the man that will determine whether you will be able to live with that man or not. It is how the man behaves, how he treats you, you know, how, how does he care? Does he care about your feelings? How he treats you? How he sees you? The value he plays on you that will determine not just focusing on appearance. How does he treat you? That's what is important in a marital relationship. You see, that is what will carry you along, will keep you in that marriage, not just physical appearance that women usually focus on. Then number two is money. Money is important. It's good to marry someone who has money. Somebody who, someone who will be able to take care of you, take care of your financial needs, so that when you even have children, will be able to take care of your the upkeep. Me, will, will be able to be there for you. Will be responsible taking care of your uh, the upkeep of your children. You will be able to do that. You will be able to take care of your own self. Money is an essential ingredient in marriage. It's very important. But money is also not everything. Because you may find yourself in a situation where the man has everything but you are running away from the house. He has money. He can give you money. He can take care of you financially. But you don't have the peace. You see, you'll be running away looking for peace. But you have the money, you see. So it's, it's important but it's not everything. And so the focus shouldn't only be on having money. And you will leave because when there's this, this difficult, the focus is only money. When there is money, when you get there and that money is not there, it's not going to work between you because the focus has always been only that money. You are interested in only that man having money. So if the money is there, in, situation, in some situation, the money will be there, but you will not have the peace, so you'll be running away. Why? Because you focus on only money. Number three, societal projection. You see, sometimes when a woman is right to get married, there will be this subtle kind of societal projection, which may be coming from your neighbors, your friends, your church members, your even from your office. 
not that everybody will expect you to get married at a particular age. They'll be like, oh, this person has, is ripe enough to be married. So why is she not married? Why is she still alone? So there will be this high expectation that everyone wants to get married. And maybe in their own perception, their own idea of who is ripe enough to marry, once you have crossed past, you have passed the age, they think that you should be married. There's, there's always this, the, um, people will start talking about it. They will be like, oh, they will begin to make you feel like you are doing something that is wrong or that you have been left, the, you've been left behind or something like that. You know, it's just a kind of, nobody will walk up to you and tell you, unless you're a very close member of your family, like maybe your mother or your father, will actually have the guts to confront you based on that. But other people will not. There will just be this whisp subtle whispering behind, you know, talking about it. And you will feel it. You actually feel it. You know that this is what they are talking about. You know, they are talking about you, your marital status and all of that. So, because they want you, they expect you to do certain things at certain times, you know. And if that has not been fulfilled, there's always this uh, uh, talking behind your back concerning that uh, issue you see so some people when they are going through that society, uh, societal projection even when the right person has not show for, has not come forth you see they just want to grab anybody that is available anybody that is around even when you know that in some situations we may get to know that this particular person is not good for them it's not but because of societal pressure they just jump into it just to ensure that they too as somewhere with somebody with a man so that just to avoid all this uh, uh, rumor mongering you know and all this subtle kind of uh, insult and projection coming from people that are close to them you see so the person will just move in to do it to just get along you know so even when the person is not okay you see and sometimes even when you're married or maybe you are divorced and um, you know that it's not the right thing to do at that time but because people will begin to look at you that ah, this one okay she doesn't have any man with her okay they don't think that it's a woman also needs time to be on her own to be alone you need time to study to get to even know yourself and even if people who are coming um coming to you who want to marry? You also need time to study them. You don't just jump. You are not supposed to just jump into anything because if, as far if you just quickly jump into it like that, you will also quickly jump out. So it's, it's time. That waiting time is very important. But people don't understand it. And if you are not wise enough to understand that you are not supposed to be angry, you need time to study yourself, study the people that come that are coming around. You know, you will just. Uh, sheepishly jump into it and that is how you now quickly rush out again you begin to they will count you number one count number two you are one waiting for number three you see because you don't you allow this uh, societal projection to to make you take certain decisions that are not right for you at that time and you see that will make you to also jump out of the marriage and then begin to wait for another one so that will make you to marry two three four husbands you see then number four number four is family pressure you see even the family you come from when they see they feel that a woman does not have to be alone at any time you must be some there must be somebody you must be under somebody at all times but it's, it is not necessarily so especially if you have moved out of your first relationship or your first marriage it's not ideal to just jump into because family, your family members or maybe your, your parents are disturbing you to get somewhere. It's important for you to wait. That waiting period is, is, is essential. But they don't get to understand it. Even if there is this pressure on you, you don't have to give in as a woman. It's not, you don't have to give in. You just have to wait. Study yourself. Get to know yourself better. Involve yourself in other things. Get busy. Be doing things that will be taking your attention away, that will distract you, that you will not have to start listening to all the pressure. You start giving in to the pressure or listening to all they are talking, all the words, all the things they are saying that will make you take a decision quickly concerning that. You see, so get busy.